Hey there, this is Tess from Call for Data. Microsoft has recently performed quite a big change to their exam offering. They've changed the VA100 exam to the PL300 exam. In this video, we'll discuss what this change is all about, what you can expect, and we'll also give you some practical tips to get started with your study. Let's go. All right, so what is the major change? Of course, the DA100 exam will be phased out from March 31st, 2022. So that means the PL300 exam completely replaces the old exam for the Power BI. There's also been some other changes. For example, the, the certificate is now called Power BI, Data Anal Analyst Associate. It used to just be Data Analyst Associate. So in some minor changes i think the price is still the same um, and then also the content outline has changed a bit let's also look at why microsoft did this change so as you know power bi is part of um, a larger segment of apps within the power platform uh, group and now they've also made this very explicit and the da100 exam stands for data platform and now it's PL, so Power Platform is definitely coming into that uh, naming convention. For those who already did the exam, not a lot will change aside from the naming of the certificate. For those planning to take the exam, I suggest you take another look at the exam outline because there are some changes in terms of weight and also topics that are included. We'll go through this right now. So what changed with the phasing out of the DA100 and coming in is now the PL300. So first they've uh, changed the number of topics from five to four. So the categories, let's say, and they've also changed the weighing of each category. I think important here is that the last category, deploy and maintain deliverables, now increased with 10%. So this means um, more emphasis on, for example, uh, configuring a data gateway, but also setting up a scheduled refresh and uh, also yeah, organizing your workspaces, for example. So if you're still uh, planning on taking the exam, I would highly uh, recommend you to learn those topics in detail, given the, the change that has occurred. You can see that all the, the different topics are somewhat equal in weighing, which means that the exam will just cover a large range of topics and not, uh, for example, only focusing on modeling the data like it was before. So expect a broad range of questions and make sure you're prepared for that. Now, how would you approach studying for the PL300 exam if you haven't taken this already? There are some Microsoft learning paths available online that you can follow, uh, but those will not be enough to really complete the exam. So I would suggest you take some um, online videos or, or watch some online videos to get more familiar with some topics and also try out some test exams. I think these will cost you some money, um, but it's really worth uh, the, the cost, I think. It's an investment that you make when you're considering changing career tracks, for example, and it will really help you prepare for the exam. Now, you can also watch some of our other videos. You can uh, check out the exam content that we covered uh, last year when the DA100 was still available. Not much has changed in terms of really the exam content itself weighting has changed so keep that in mind and then we also did some some videos on the power bi license licensing and embedding options um, and there are plenty of other videos online that you can watch if you want to get familiar with those topics that was it for this short video i hope it was uh, interesting and gave some more insights on the pl300 and i'll catch you in another time bye bye